is going on everybody my name's Tom and today we're going to be playing some Minecraft as usual because Minecraft is the shit um, I'm going to jump ahead do a little, I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the episode sorry about that um, I've changed the texture pack to Sawtex Fanva um, you can get this off planetminecraft.com um, just make sure we're not dropping mad frames yes we're okay uh, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to try and make our mine so we're going to need a shovel for sure um, where to build it though? Um, I actually really like this texture pack. It's the first time I've used it um, since probably like 1.5 update, and it's now like 1.75, I believe, something like that. <laughs> so uh, I've had quite a lot of updates since I last used this texture pack. So let's go ahead and make a shovel if we have the stuff for it. Uh, we've got enough torches, we've got carrots. Let's put all this stuff away. We don't need that pickaxe either. Um, right, there's only two of those, and we need one of. Oh, actually, we're gonna need some. We're gonna need some extra pickaxes to do this uh, mine. So get all those sticks ready. Uh, we'll make uh, three of those and a shovel. There we go. Put these here nice and tidy because I hate having I absolutely hate not having a clean inventory we'll make a couple more of those and there we go that away um I'm gonna have to take some more carrots with us I guess and I guess there's no better place really than here um I think it's about to go night time actually so we'll sleep may as well stop any mob spawning whoops don't know why that happened <laughs> all right yeah it's the other one isn't it I, I don't really understand the the spawn times of the animals so I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that I want to keep breeding them as much as possible um, I'm gonna do it over here oh there's already a mine here so we could just explore this mine for now See if it takes us anywhere. And we found our first pieces of iron, which is fucking awesome. Alright, let's use this cobblestone. Do that. Yeah, this texture pack's really nice. Um, I did used to use it quite a lot, and a lot of, a lot of it has changed. Uh, I'm using the 64 by 64 version for anybody who's wondering. Oh, there's a creeper. Two creepers. Do we risk it? Do we risk it? Why not, eh? I hear lava too. Oh, there's three creepers, for fuck's sake. I can deal with that. They didn't blow much up, so... <laughs> I could deal with that shit. Oops. So, I want to tell you a little bit more about myself because I've not really covered that the stuff that I've wanted to say in previous videos. Um, oh, oh, just another quick update before before I start anything else. Um, I've actually broken my tailbone. Um, <laughs> I've got a bit of a bad knee. Um, I tore my ACL, which is the anterior cruciate ligament for anybody who doesn't know. Um, I destroyed the cartilage. Oh, literally everything in my knee I destroyed. Uh, playing football or soccer for you, you Americans, <clears throat> and um, it's pretty bad still to this day. It's been like two years since I did it, maybe three years actually. So anyway, I was on the stairs, and uh, <laughs> it just gave way on me. It literally just gave way, and it it was like awful because I, I landed completely on my ass. <laughs> I landed on my ass and it broke my tailbone <clears throat> and it fucking hurts like hell. Um, it feels a little bit better today. It, I did it like four days ago and hopefully it's going to heal pretty quick because I've got my birthday coming up soon at the end of this month and uh, I don't want to I don't want to be <laughs> in agony on my birthday. <laughs> so if any of you have ever broken your tailbone or know anything about it you know how quick it heals or whatever please let me know um, my doctor didn't really give me a timeline for when 
it'll be fixed when it'll be ready to ready to go again so I would appreciate any and all advice on what to do and see I, I see how sidetracked I get sometimes I was gonna tell you a bit about me and my past and what what who I am pretty much uh, so I guess this is kind of going to be called a story time episode or some shit. Um, for people who, who followed my last channel and followed me on Twitter or anything, you'll know I have been through some shit. <laughs> In the last 12 months, I've gone through hell. And I'm happy to say I'm I'm pretty much on the other side of it now. And... Like it feels I've <laughs> I'm being kind of awkward here, I know. Um This last week I've been happy. it's literally been seven days where I've I've been happy and that is the first time in years where I can honestly say I've been happy for more than just two or three days. And it's it's really, really fucking weird. And the reason I've been un unhappy is I suffer with depression severe anxiety and amongst all other things I've had a really really bad 12 months I uh, I lost two of my two of my remaining grandparents um, I lost both of my dogs to cancer everything everybody like my, both my grandparents died of cancer my dogs died of cancer it's it's pr something that's pretty much plagued <laughs> everything and the other thing is I split up with my girlfriend of three years, nearly four years, and uh, fucking just to just to say I was broken hearted anyway with everything else that happened, and then to have that happen to me as well it was very, very traumatic, and it kind of left me in in a place where I, I'd never been before, where I, I I had nothing, I was just a complete mess, I was I was just a broken man. Um, I guess that's kind of I guess that's kind of a bit oversharing but that's that's just who I am I, I'm as transparent as they come honestly um, I, I don't really want to go into too much detail about what I've been through on a personal level of like depression and what, how I feel because it's kind of it it's depressing pretty much I don't want to depress you guys but I want I want you if you if you feel depressed I want that's this is why I'm telling you if, if you feel depressed or anything or if you're going through anxiety issues or anything I want you to know you're not alone and it's okay to to, to have those feelings it's not you're not like unusual you're not weird and I'm saying that because I felt weird all my life for for not being as confident as everybody else is, and I, I want you to know that it's it's okay to feel like you're you're not normal, I guess. So yeah, that that's that's just a little bit about me and oh this this texture pack's amazing. Yeah, that's a little bit about me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, but just know if you ever need somebody to talk to. I'm always here. You can contact me on Twitter at EpicWombleTV or you can leave me a comment here or a personal message on here and I'll do my best to help you. Oh, because trust me when I say I've been through pretty much everything you could imagine. Everything you could imagine. Alright, so let's go and put some stuff away and I'm going to go kill that skeleton that I can hear and that spider. Got quite a lot of coal already. Nice. I've got a lot of iron as well. We're gonna get some of that iron smelted. Uh, let's take a few of those. There we go. And we don't need the carrots as of now because we've got pork chops. And let's go kill these motherfuckers. I think they're down here. No, it sounds like they're that way, actually. I don't know whether there's a way around that way. Oh, this is the same mine. <laughs> same bloody mine. Okay. 
I really want to kill those though. I want to go and find where they are. I don't understand that. Like, there's not much room. Sorry, I'm going to go quiet now just so I can. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. I thought they're this way. Are they in a... Wait. Oh, they're definitely over here. Hell. Oh, they're real close now. There they are. Eat real quick. Yeah, sorry I went quiet there. I couldn't. I, I couldn't find them. <laughs> There's a zombie as well somewhere, and another skeleton. Wow, aimbot. Get some torches down. I'm hoping there's a spawner somewhere near. So we've got quite a lot of mines around us, which is fucking awesome. I'm hoping one of them drops a bow. <laughs> well, like I said guys, in one of the last episodes, I'm not going to keep these episodes too long. I um, hope this has been a little bit entertaining and a little bit, a little bit more personal and allowing you to, to know who I am. I guess that kind of makes sense in a way. <laughs> I guess I'm not complete talking complete bullshit. But that has been episode 3, I believe. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to Epic Womble TV. It's been a pleasure for me and I hope it's been a pleasure for you. I'll catch you next time. See you later.